What does it take to make a memorable sitcom? Well, I thought you had a bachelor's from Columbia. And now I have to get one from America. Jokes obviously help. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, but it had the cadence of a joke. Any good comedy series will benefit from an arresting premise. The best days of your life could be after it's over. Catchphrases are essential. Does that include, that's what she said? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, that is really hard. Don't, don't do it, Michael. You really think you can go all day long? Be strong. Well, you always left me satisfied and smiling, so. Don't, don't do it. That's what she said. <laughs> But apart from that witty script, what really makes a sitcom a hit is the casting. Casting a sitcom ensemble is a delicate balancing act. Change one role and the chemistry of the whole thing can alter. Just look at The Office at the end of season 7 trying to bring the right person in to replace Steve Carell. Remember the candidates? Name, David Brent. Occupation, Inspirer. Status, none of your business. Don't even talk to me about the weather, man. There is only sex. Oh, yeah. And the diameter of the sun is 870,000 miles, which makes it 109 times wider than the Earth, and 333,000 times heavier than the Earth. Shut up about the sun! Shut up about the sun! We need a new manager. But how do you establish that kind of chemistry in the first place? You could follow the tried and tested formula of character archetypes that go into creating the perfect ensemble. First, you'll need the straight arrow. Your Annie Edisons, your Ross Gellers, your Ted Mosbys. This much fun is good. It's safe. It's guaranteed. The straight arrow is the moral center of the show. Reliable, realistic, and level-headed. And I want to have kids. And I want to get married. To balance their overdeveloped sense of responsibility, you'll likely need an anarchist. Think I? I'm only 27. What am I, a child bride? The anarchist is someone a little bit wilder, weirder, and capable of persuading the straight arrow to occasionally bend. Kevin's famous chili. The lovable idiot is another important archetype. I see him, I see him! They're not the sharpest tool in the character box. What they? A spa day. What is this word, spa? I feel like you're starting to say a word and you're not finishing it. Are you trying to say spaghetti? Are you taking me for a spaghetti day? But they supply endless comic relief and often create or exacerbate situations that the other characters must come together to fix. Guys, why aren't the brakes working? Because I cut the brakes! Wild car! Strictly speaking, they don't have to be stupid. Okay. They might just be the fall guy. Ready? The schlub that's always ends up in a mess. Boo! No! <laughs> <laughs> Jerry! God, gross! Oh. Speaking of mess... Should I help you clean up? No way! You had your party, now I have mine. In order to allow anarchy to reign, sometimes you'll also need characters who love order and rules. I'd really appreciate it if your non-Tahitian vanilla was not touching my Tahitian vanilla. Oh, Schmidt, they're more than touching. The control freak hates when things don't go according to plan. Did you wash your hands? I wash them after. OK, no, see, it just can you, can you just stop? Because now the entire bowl of walnuts is compromised. Of course, these archetypes can be elastic to allow for comedy, playfulness, and most importantly, character development. This is a perfect oh, opportunity dude. to introduce like the new me. Yeah, no more Mr. Nice Abby, no more, no more. These archetypes are more complex than it would seem at first glance. Sometimes the control freak's love of systems ends up being crazier than anything the class clown could ever come up with. You want to put the marshmallows in concentric circles. No, Mon, you want to put them in concentric circles. Sometimes the sensible, down-to-earth straight arrow will spend hundreds of hours inventing the cones of Dunshire. A brand new gaming experience. Eight to twelve players, two wizards, a maverick, the arbiter, two warriors, a corporal, and a ledgerman. Now, the ledgerman just keeps score, and he wears this hat. Oh, boy. Part of the reason we invest our time in sitcoms is our love of an arc. Dave, wow, what a nice surprise. What, what brings you here? Holy s***! Holy s***! Put it back on! Put it back on! What the hell happened? 
We can also take a lovable idiot. Reverse psychiatry. And an anarchist. Fine, what? Who get together. Wait, no, babe, my birth mix. Who could have expected that April and Andy would go on this merry journey together? No one would have bet on this control freak and this beauty queen making a proper go of things. <laughs> well, this teenage boy is a quarterback and a prom king. Or that the nice but not super bright jock from Community would, spoiler alert, Give me nerd alert, also turn out to be the biggest nerd. Thoughts, so I can think and get a student loan and grind my own coffee and understand HBO. Subversion can also add an edge to the casting of a particular character. Take Britta from Community. Hey. I, like, need you to save the pelicans. They're all feathery and pelican-y. I love them. Gillian Jacobs could very well have been cast as the stereotypical ditz. Wow, it really is easy to raise money when you sell out your gender. But it's far funnier that she becomes a ranting, buzz-killing agent of chaos. <laughs> Craig Roberts might be playing a country club tennis coach in Red Oaks, but he's also a slacker. What's the big deal? I still passed. Barely. A C isn't barely passing. A C is a Jewish F. And just because she's initially cast as a high-powered career type doesn't mean Jan Levinson won't end up running a candle business out of Michael Scott's condo. Smell all my candles. And it just poof, goes away. Just like that. Just like that. Having a formula doesn't mean your sitcom has to be formulaic. Ultimately, the most memorable sitcoms are the ones with characters that retain the ability to surprise us. <laughs> Head over to the Rap Party with Prime Video podcast to hear from a perfect ensemble of talent from behind the camera. You can find it wherever you get your podcasts. Mm -hmm.